Hi, this is Gun Cody. I am the Envoy Herald for Fort Cinderdew in Fayetteville, Arkansas. What I've got here is Wanted, Rich or Dead by Galactic Games. They're famous for their board game adaptation of This War of Mine and Age of Thieves. So it's a pretty good company. It's a very good company. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm actually very eager to, to display this one. So it's two to five players, 30 minutes long, and age 14 and up. Though, inside, you've got just a, a short rule book. They've got an extra rule set for playing with two players. And it's more of an insert. I think that was uh, an extra they, they added in an, another rule set. But uh, with that, they've included uh, series. So this is a blind bidding game. Um, you're going to have a series of rounds where everybody's trying to uh, loot the most cash from this town that stands up. And the town is represented by these stand-ups. <laughs> so these stand-ups, um, they're, they're pretty good, pretty thick, actually. Okay. Thick cardstock. Oh yeah, I just want to loot the saloon. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody's selling whiskey of some sort. The bank, yeah. <laughs> He's got a whiskey patch there. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> all right. Uh, this guy has lost all his money, or is that's maybe he's not a good gambler. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the gunsmith. All right. Uh, the safest place in town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, in this, we're outlaws. We're the we're gaining notoriety. Well, we're already notorious outlaws. And okay. Our objective is to end up being the biggest, baddest outlaw at the end of the game. Right. Um, the sheriff is kind of not capable of taking you down. Yeah. It's going to be more of you're going to a place, and this other outlaw came to that same place, so now you're going to have a gunfight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Over who gets to loot it. All right, so these stand-ups, they got two legs apiece, and slide them in there. Okay. And the town is built always to the same size, but you add in the stagecoach with less than max players. Yeah. Um, all right, so the game's got uh, items, so it's not just I place my guy here, I do something. Mm -hmm. um, each, each person's going to have a starter card that, uh, that does describe it, but these are, are the items that you can loot from special areas in the town and they will increase your capacity to hold money or um, give you special fighting powers okay and then every player has got a private set of their own action cards with one asymmetric card in the loot in the okay. deck hmm. okay so yeah train magpie if you have not robbed any money this turn. Take one money from the stash at the end of this turn. Okay. And these are? Those are all the character decks. There's five different characters, and each one's got a, um, a poker hand, really. Okay. And so you play a card to, to use that action to go to that place and, um, and for fighting. Yeah. Okay. And we got these meeples. All right. <laughs> Cowboy meeples. Tall meeples. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Custom dice, bone colored. Nice. Ooh. I'm a fan of bone colored nice. dice. Really. <laughs> and then all the money that has to be done. So all the right. game's over when all this money is collected. And each player gets a tab tableau builder. Okay. So this is kind of a neat mechanic. Um, it's got a rubber band mechanic in it. I know I'm flipping quick. So each character has a number of bullets on there. They attack when you when you loot money. You got to assign it to a location. So you're going to be covering up some of those bullets. Mm -hmm. These bullets help you in fighting. So the more money you're carrying, the less capable of fighting you actually hmm. are. Okay. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay. So you can use that to leverage some advantages in the game. Right. All right. 
Yeah. Um, so that's yeah, that's what's in the box. Um, can't wait to play it. This, this looks like a Clint Eastwood, you know, like the, sort of that <laughs> mixed with the Wolverine, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Hugh Jackman. Um, the rule book isn't too lengthy, but you know, it it looks dense, but then again, it it's not that long, so it's probably easy to get into. Yeah. I think this is a game that you would play several times um, in any in the game night that you do pull it out. Yeah. And then you'd have a blast, and then... Hello, today we played Wanted, Rich or Dead. This is a game from Galacta, um, a game designed by Darius... <laughs> Kulak? Yeah, funny name. Not sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, this is Gun Cody. I'm Jasper Mendoza. We're playing this here in uh, Fayetteville, Arkansas at Fort Z. Um, so, this was both of our first time. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, given it, given it a spin, we played the three-player version and the two-player version. Yeah. And uh, not many hiccups to overcome. Not really. Yeah. It, it was pretty smooth. The game, uh, the rules are simple you know like mm -hmm. and and there aren't really too many things to look up there's yeah. there's a few just because it's you know um, just once you understand it yeah mm -hmm. it just it's, it's kind of an ironed out game it's right at least when you look up that type of wire yeah um I, some things i liked about it were the simple mechanisms the um the way your hand is kind of revealed um and you go to different locations, you know, like that's very, it's a really simple concept. Just pick one from your hand, reveal it, everybody goes there, resolve the actions. Um, and even still, like, you still have some uh, manipulation that you can do, you know, depending on what you have mm -hmm. left in your hand. Really enjoyed that, very simple. Yeah, when you play a card, you might have certain cards that are good against different opponents. Mm -hmm. Something we've determined is, is that all of these characters are different from each other. Yeah. Um, so their hands play very differently. Yeah. But um, by playing the cards that are good against certain other players, you're, right. you're wanting to not get into a gunfight with that player right. when that's your... Yeah. And some people can hold more money than, than other characters. Yeah. Um, which kind of was kind of interesting. You know, they're, you really have to go, you know, try to get as much money quickly and end the game before your opponent does, you know, mm -hmm. and... Yeah, I, I found that odd, but also like, okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I'll, I'll roll with it. Um, a lot of, lot of differences. Right. Tiny, but, yeah. but cool. Um, the, uh, the items that you can take, um, that you can pick up, aren't too... No, they're not game-changing. Yeah, they're not game-changing, game but, you know, they, I don't know. They just fit. They're just yeah. a light touch. <coughs> I do... I do dislike that about other games yeah. where where you get this item and all of a sudden you're godlike. Mm -hmm. In this game, it's like you might get one or two uses out of it. Yeah. Or, or have something useful. Yeah. But um, that's not going to net you the entire game. Right. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, uh, was there some things that you didn't like? Or you found, found a little sticky? Or... It, it's tough to, you know, to find in this game something that I didn't like. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty much like the game is all stripped down to the core. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing that I need to really trim off of it. Right. Um, I do like that they added in the stagecoach so that there is fights. So, yeah. I mean, the stagecoach is beneficial. Mm -hmm. In five-player, you lose that. Right. Okay. Um, huh. Yeah, that, that forces a fight when, you know, when mm -hmm. two people are in different buildings that are adjacent, the stagecoach in between forces a fight. That's cool, yeah. Uh, I like, we played a two-player game. Um, the third uh, player was the, yeah. you know, the, the sheriff, which... It's useful they got that. Yeah, very random. Um, it does the job well as far as mm -hmm. being like a, I don't know, like this automaton, you know, in a way. Um, it's... That in itself was simple. Um, yeah, that, that, that's a good um, mechanic, or I guess 
<laughs> element in the game, you know, where there's still some random uh, elements. <clears throat> but I'd, I'd put this game a little bit higher tier than uh, Bang. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I like that it's also a Western game, so it just right. comes right to the top of my mind. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah I, I agree. Like but it fulfills that role. Yeah. Bang can can play a little too long, it seems like, you know, for such a small box and, um, uh, you know, low complexity game. This is also low complexity, but plays quicker and just gets to the meat, like, you know, quickly. Yeah. yeah. And, and none of the real locations were, like, if you go here, you're going to win because, mm -hmm. like, the most you could get is a one in three chance of right. getting a three mm -hmm. from any particular one. So yeah. you're generally just getting one coin if you win a location. So. Yeah. signature moves were great right yeah i like that if everybody plays a signature move they're all negated yeah <laughs> that being the one sticky point if you lose your turn do you stay where you are or do you yeah that's i was unclear about board. that yeah um but other than that you know yeah it's it's pretty clear um yeah. i i didn't you read the rule book i didn't but um well, what do you think was it pretty pretty clear it was pretty pretty clear yeah um they they put a lot of important Right. <laughs> Important. Remember. <laughs> and then there's some really good examples on the back of the rule book too. Yeah. That walked us through the exact wording. Like yeah. Yeah. On on your special power. Yeah. Like what did you think of that? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you play and you're like I ignore everything you're doing right. and I just roll my own. <laughs> um, Do I win or not? Now, okay. So one thing that <coughs> one thing that really isn't in the game is what's on the title, Wanted, Rich, or Dead. Oh. We, we, nobody died. No death. <laughs> there's no death. So some people will like that. Um, yeah, there's no p player elimination, but, you know, it's it's a fairly lighthearted Western game. Um, it's just Wanted, Rich, you know. Yeah. <laughs> wanted, Rich. <laughs> That's um, a good point. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, there was... Yeah, there's no, there's no. Um, Maybe it's like a video game, respawn. Right. Yeah, respawn. Or <laughs> you get hurt and then you, know, <laughs> you go to the saloon. Yeah. <laughs> drink up there and. We go. <laughs> that, but, that is a good point to make. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, it was a, it was a enjo enjoyable, light, you know, light game. Um, can't really. There's really nothing I can. You can play it with kids. Yeah, yeah, you can play with who kids. Who can't even who, read? I know. <laughs> <laughs> because. They just, they just pick a card. a card, even and if, you can read what yeah. it does really quickly. Yeah, You'll even if it's card. random, you know, yeah. like they're playing the game, you know. Absolutely. <laughs> so you're just making choices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Yeah. All right. I recommend this. Check it out. Me too. <laughs>